The way it helps you is this. If you know that the third wave, what's called a C wave, it's about a complete. So if you see a move down from an uptrend, if you see a move down to the 100 simple moving average, and you see three waves have been forming since then, well, guess what? You can use that as an opportunity to get long when you get a trigger. So you can actually mm -hmm. position yourself, get prepared for going long on the market uh, when that C wave is about to turn around mm -hmm. and complete. You can use and, and triggers. How, and how would you prepare yourself? You, you say triggers. You can use um, different kind of uh, indicators, mm -hmm. uh, momentum indicators, uh, but essentially just be prepared because that, that usually when the third wave is about to complete, that means that we're about to start the new, a new mm -hmm. wave higher. By the way, the same thing applies in the reverse. So if we take a look at the next, the, the previous chart, guys. Yeah. Yep. So if you get a downtrend, if the market's moving lower, be prepared for a corrective move, uh, like a pullback or a bounce. And that pullback or bounce usually takes you, again, either the 21 moving average or the 100 simple moving average. But bottom line is the fact is that those corrections, again, as you can see here, are formed of three segments, mm -hmm. three waves. When those three segments are about to complete, again, you can use a trigger to get short. Take a look at this, you'll see. Um, you can actually got short there. You could use any kind of trigger to essentially con go in the same direction as the original move. So the way this helps your viewers and the, the way it helps traders is that, you know, look for this pattern. Whenever you see a corrective move, look for three segments, look for three sections, the ABC corrective waves. Uh, there's a trader I know in America. All she cares about is this, is this uh, ABC pattern. That's all she cares about. She, she just waits for that. And it's okay. And I, I, I think that's a great idea, uh, what she does, which is that, you know, wait for that ABC corrective wave to complete. And then she looks for a potential entry point into mm -hmm. the market to go in the same direction. So that's a... And it's interesting. Yeah. If we're looking at this downward trend, yeah. I and mean, you could say at any point, you could you could be short yeah. and and you'd profit because it is is a downward trend and we're looking at the moving Absolutely. average that's fine but by looking at this wave pattern what yes. you're doing is highlighting the points where you can maximize Absolutely. your sell because you're you could sell right. at the bottom of the first wave on the yeah. on the A but if you sold on the C, your profits will be large. You're absolutely right, man. That's exactly a good way of putting it. Fantastic. Well, yeah. uh, thank you very much for uh, bringing your insight onto the show. Thanks really a lot. do appreciate. Highly recommend. Um, I will put his name on the title, uh, Alessio Rastani. He has some great content on crypto. And like I said, I don't have the TA analysis. I do have a MBA, a Master's in Business Administration from the University of Southern California. But uh, what I've learned in business school is uh, know your circles of competence. And uh, when you don't have you know, that expertise definitely bring on experts. And I really like following his channel. I've learned a lot about trading and investing. So I highly recommend if you got a chance, subscribe to his channel. And I just brought in a, a little bit of his video. So if you want to watch the whole thing, it's like four minutes, does a great job of educating you. But there could be, this could be our third wave, wave bounce and uh, hopefully leading to a uh, bull market for crypto. Um, I, I really don't know. I'm not a technical analysis expert, and uh, if you've been following my channel, I'm just a long-term holder. Uh, anything, any purchase I'm making, I'm going in with a mindset I'm holding for at least a year, maybe two or three years. So um, I have continued to buy this dip. I haven't bought a lot because I was hoping that crypto would go back down under 7,000 uh, Bitcoin. So uh, unfortunately, I've only picked up a limited amount of crypto in the eight to 7,000 range. Um, and if this bounce is the bounce to take us out, uh, I unfortunately uh, did a little bit of dollar cost averaging, but I really haven't made any major purchases since early April. Um, I, like I said, I was hoping that it would dip down more if it doesn't, whatever. Um, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see and let me know what you guys think about this. But once again, I've put in a good amount of capital into crypto and I'm just now waiting um, you know, for it to hit that one trillion mark. And I'm pretty confident it's almost the end or we're at the halfway mark for 2018. So we got six more months where uh, hopefully we go back to the all time high of a $20,000 Bitcoin. Um, but only time will tell, so let's see what happens. Um, let me know what your thoughts are, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.